everybody, it's Doreen, and I know you've all been wondering where I've been. Well, I am still having difficulty with my shoulder and my hands, and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. As a matter of fact, it's gotten so bad that my hands swell up so bad that I can't even wear my wedding rings anymore because they, it's just too painful. They actually, the rings actually cut into my fingers. And I haven't decided if I'm going to just go have them enlarged or just hope that eventually I'm going to get past this. I found out um, about maybe two or three weeks ago that if it doesn't get any better in the next month, I am going to have to have surgery. So, anyway, I did want to come back and make a card because it is my husband and my 10th wedding anniversary. So I wanted to make a card for him. And actually this is the only card that I've made maybe since the last video that I did a few months ago. Because I just can't do it. Um, I have been trying to do a, a, some of my other crafts. I've been doing some embroidery with my embroidery machine. Because I don't have to do any repetitive motion with that. And I did break down a couple of weekends ago, and I tried to make a necklace and bracelet, which I did finish, but I was in a lot of pain afterwards. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you the card that we will be making today. Now, I did use my silhouette to make this card, but I only used the print and cut feature with the silhouette. And I also use my Gemini and some of my Spellbinder dies. So what does the card look like that we will be making today if you choose to join me? This is the card that we will be making. So come on and join me. And I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay, everybody, so I'm going to bring up the supplies and we'll get started on the card. So now this card um, that I made, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is an anniversary card for my husband and I, 10th wedding anniversary. And I did use my silhouette, but I only used my silhouette for the print and cut feature, and that was it. And I also used my new toy, my Gemini. So let's go ahead and get started and start putting the card together. So now my card measures 11 inches by 4 and a quarter inches, which once it is folded and scored in half, it makes it a 5 and a half by 4 and a quarter inch card. So I've already gone ahead and did my inside sentiment and I did use the print and cut for that. So I'm going to real quickly go ahead and add that to the card and just get some tape all around here so I can put this on there so as I said in the beginning of the video I have not done any cards in a while and it's basically because and I'm gonna take this off camera and put this on because the sentiment in the inside is pretty personal to my husband so I meant to go ahead and put that on before I started recording the video and I forgot. So I've now got that on the inside. And like I was saying, I haven't been doing very many cards because I'm still suffering from problems with my shoulder and it's really starting to affect my hands as well. So that's why you haven't seen very much of me doing videos. I've, I've been able to do a little bit of crafting basically with um, my embroidery machine but no card making and also I just haven't felt like making any cards. So now my next layer or my layer that I'm going to put here on the top of this card is this card stock or card paper right here. And this paper is from a paper studio pack that's called Stone Washed. I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. That's their brand. And I also wanted to ink my edges. But actually, let me go ahead and do that and then I'm going to come right back. Okay, everybody. So I am back with my inked edges. And here is my paper. And what I've used is the Tim Holtz. 
Distress Ink, and I've used the faded jeans. And I also want to apologize if you hear a lot of banging and hammering and knocking and so forth in my video. My next door neighbor is remodeling his house. He actually gutted the entire house. He added on an addition, added on a rec room for the basement. So he's been working on this house for the past seven, eight months now. And we're constantly hearing banging and knocking and carrying on at least... It goes on till about 7, 8 o'clock at night. And I'm hoping that he's going to be done with it soon. So now, now that I've got my edges inked, I'm going to go ahead and add this to my card. So I'm going to get some tape all the way around. And then put one strip in the middle there. And then I'm going to open up my card and go ahead and add this to the card. So, in case I didn't say what size this is, this is five inches by four, I'm sorry, five and a quarter inches by four inches. So, now that we've got that layer on, my next layer is actually a software that I actually purchased for my quilting, but I'm also using it now for doing some designs with my card making and I think I've done a card once before where I actually took a photo of some flowers and then I made it into a kaleidoscope and I'll put a picture or up here somewhere in the video of the previous card that I did with that flower in it and now I've taken a picture of my husband and myself and I've done a kaleidoscope type theme with that one as well and I'll also put the picture what it originally looked like and now you can see what I've done with it so I'm gonna add that to the top of my card and in the center here I've just um, typed out happy anniversary now I did use my print and cut feature to do this and I basically brought the picture in or the kaleidoscope in and this cut around the edges and I measured out how big I wanted the square to to be or for this to cut so this is actually five inches by three and three quarter inches and I'm gonna lay that down right there so let's see do I want to pop this up um, let's see do I want to do that no I'm not gonna pop it up because I am gonna put these corners on here like so so I don't think I'm going to pop it up but before I add this because this is our 10th wedding anniversary I did cut out the number 10 which I'm gonna place right here I'm going to put one at the top and then one here at the bottom. But actually, I think I should go on ahead and put my put this on the card and put my corners on before that do that. And I'm actually going to pop this up because you know how I like dimension. And since I can't put any bling on this card, I don't think my husband would, it wouldn't really matter to him if I did, but... I'm not going to, so I'm just going to take some foam dots and put one in each corner and pop those up, or pop this up. So I'm just going to put one here and one there and one there and one there, and then probably one in the center. And I'm not using the big ones the big size so it's gonna pop up but not a lot so we'll go ahead and open this out and then I'll just add this on top right here like so so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add my corners so now with my corners just I use my spellbinder die or actually this is, a, I'm sorry, a Cherry Lynn die. And it looks like this. 
and I then took one of my Wink Stella pens and this is the GL blue it says and I just went ahead and put that on there just to give it a little shine because I wanted it to stand out a little bit so those are gonna go right there in the corner and rather than have you watch me put those on because I'm gonna take and glue them on I'm just gonna put them here so you can see how I'm going to lay them and I'll put one over here in this corner and then I'll have one down here so that's how those are going to be on the card and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my number tens so this was a quick one I'm gonna come back with the finished card and my envelope okay everybody so I am back with the finished card and here it is so what I did was I went ahead and put my corners down and I used my two-way zig pin to put the um, corners down I just basically tapped I uh, took a piece of paper and laid it down and I laid the corners down and then I just took the zigway pen and just tapped all over until I thought I had enough adhesive on there and then I went ahead and laid it down. You probably could also use a sticker maker as well to do this but I just decided to go ahead and just use the two-way zig pen. Then the other thing that I did was I went ahead and put these candies in the corner because I just couldn't leave it plain I don't think I know how to make a plain card without putting some type of embellishment on there so since I couldn't put bling of course well I guess I could my husband wouldn't have said anything but I decided nope I'm not gonna do that so I just added the candies and they come in a package uh, that looks like this and what I do is I predominantly buy the white ones so that I can go ahead and take them and color them with my big markers any color I want that way I don't have to spend a lot of money buying several different colors and then I went ahead and put the number 10 up here at the top and down here and that represents this is our 10th wedding anniversary and I did use the um, Wink Stella as I said before to and this one I this time I used the clear one to color in the number 10 I actually used blue cardstock and then I just added some of the Wink of Stella because I wanted to have just a little shine to it and I also put some of the Wink of Stella here in the center I don't know if you'll be able to see the shine but it's there and then for my envelope I just went ahead and used my we are memory keepers one two three punch board and made an envelope now I know it's gonna be hard to see what that says but it basically says happy anniversary and then I added two wedding rings right here so that's it everybody this is the anniversary card that I made for my husband for our 10th wedding anniversary thanks for watching everybody and happy anniversary honey bye